Alright guys, as I said, today they did reveal the official banners for the first half of patch 1.5. So, what is up guys, my name is Dre and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Usually they do this with the patch notes because actually there is, in, in those notices there is nothing new besides the characters or the items that we can get in the banners. So, without further ado, let's just hop in to this. Um, this was something that I talked about in yesterday's video already, so this is nothing new. Um, this is the first event that will come along with the patch 1.5 on the 30th of April until the 17th of... No, no um, May. Yeah, it was right. 13th of April until the 17th of May. And I would definitely um, try to play this event, get all the rewards. They are really important. So I'm always trying to get at, at the bare minimum... Uh, the crown so this is something that I do recommend because crowns are the most limited upgradable items because they're only available through events except for the tree and dragon spine because I think this is permanent but usually crowns are only available through events as well as one free to play copy of the honor a very amazing a very very good support um, the other event will oh this event will start two weeks later so on the 14th uh, don't want to talk about the special events now so as soon as they're out i will make uh, one gameplay video one video where i will cover the event and that should be enough and uh, next is the official banner so the banner will come out after version 1.5 is live this is on the 28th of april and it will go until the 18th of may so this is exactly three weeks what also happens on the 28th is my official or second official twitch stream for genshin impact on that Twitch stream, I'm going to stream my 500 subscribers special on YouTube. I'm going to celebrate 500 subscribers on YouTube as well as playing patch 1.5. We're going to do some summons with my friends. Also, uh, we're going to do some giveaways live on stream. As well as playing, of course, the most important thing, patch 1.5. All the new stuff, we're going to do it live on stream. So it is going to be a kinder big stream. Uh, hopefully you're getting there so definitely make sure to leave a follow twitch.tv slash gaming i would highly appreciate everyone from my subscribers that tunes into the stream and yeah we just can talk about certain things about the channel about the game anything that you want and yeah what also will happen on the 28th is I will draw the winners for my 400 subscribers giveaway. So if you just still want to take part on the 400 subscriber giveaway, you still have about two days time. As soon as this happens, as soon version 1.5 is live, the giveaway will end. I won't take any more uh, participants that want to take part on the 400 subscriber giveaway after version 1.5 is live, but don't. But you won't miss out on anything because on the 28th, the 500 subscriber giveaway will also start. So I will make a separate video. The official phase reveal will happen on that same day as well as my version 1.5. Uh, no, not version 1.5. My 500 subscribers giveaway as well as the ending of my 400 subscriber giveaway. So 28th of April 2021 will be a kind of big day for me. So we're going to do a lot of things. Next thing, weapon banner is... Um, of course, on the same day, so this is a rerun banner. Um, I'm kind of surprised, so I did saw that this could be the possibility. So what is really good on that banner is we get the lithic spears or the lithic weapons back because they are limited. They only come back with those weapon banners, which I do not think is uh, too bad at all. But Summit Chamber Memory of Dust, definitely a big skip. So because I see this weapon banner now, I'm very tempting to summon for Skyward Hop and Lost Prayer. These are some very generic weapons. Would I recommend to summon for Skyward Hop and Lost Prayer? If you are free to play, of course, I won't do it. But just um, referring to the weapons, you only have like less, I would say a little bit more than one day to summon for the current weapon banner as well as for Child and Rosaria. And for Rosaria, I think you could skip her as well as Child as well as for the weapon banner if you're still thinking about summoning for them. I, I would just wait. Um, I would more recommend to summon either for Zhongli or for Euler. I could imagine that these two characters, they are insanely good. And if not, you still can wait for patch 1.6, which possibly brings us the first character for Inazuma. Yeah, other than that, these weapons are like always just 
second or third best slot when you have a shield in your team. They are never like the best in slot weapon and if you want to summon for a 5 star weapon I would always always summon for a best in slot weapon for a specific character. That is the only way I would summon for a 5 star character and Lost Prayer and Scabbard Hop they are like the most generic weapons. Scabbard Hop possibly the best weapon in the game. They are always good for kind of any character. So yeah this is the weapon banner. I uh, wouldn't recommend easy skip for most of the people. Hangout events. This was clear, talked about this yesterday, new Arcan quest. Um, the only thing that was not clear is when this is available, but now it is. It is permanently available after version 1.5. So as soon as version 1.5 is live, we will have the Arcan quest. Oh no, I think this is not the key quest. This is the normal Arcan quest. The starry quest for Zhang Li, or is it? Is it the, the quest that we get through the key or? No, yeah, it is the quest that we get through the key. Yeah, it's so... Actually, as I said, we have some new bundles for the whales, for the bigger dolphins, so I think that these web, uh, bundles, they are kind of good, but not really tempting to buy those, so I wouldn't recommend And On the battle pass, there is nothing uh, changed. So for me, I'm a day one player, and since day one, I did buy every battle pass. So this is the, the sixth battle pass, so uh, this is the first time that I can buy a refinement of those weapons. I always bought a new copy of the new weapon just so that I have um, all the different weapons that I can use them for content. But now is the time that I will choose a refinement. I'm thinking of, I don't know, I'm thinking of Verdescent Hunt because this is actually the only crit rate bow besides um, Skyward Hop, except for the fact if I... I'm able to pull a scabbard hop then I would maybe go for refinements on I don't know I, I have like staff of Oma so I do not need really refinements on that match um, if I get lost prayer I wouldn't go for refinements on solar pearl if I get scabbard I wouldn't go on refinements for resistant hunt and I have jade spear so I also do not need, really need refinements for black Sword, so it may be um, Maybe it will be the Serpent Spine, but yeah, I'm not too sure about it. So, really depends on the weapons that you have in your inventory. And other than that, that's already it. So yeah, these are the two weapons. Um, and we're done with the video. <laughs> Definitely make sure to tune out my uh, to check out my Twitch channel. Be there on the 28th. Will be a very nice event. I'm I'm very very hyped for the whole event, and I see you guys there.